Hi, my name is Nina Anders and I have the blog Sharing a Journey and today I thought we could style up a couple of looks and head out to nearby Tarpon Springs. It's a beautiful Greek fishing village here in sunny Florida, who knew? I thought that it would be fun to kind of show you the looks uh, that I've created here today and kind of explain how I put them together while we can enjoy some coffee, some Greek food, some fresh fish and a beautiful glorious sunny day. So come on, let me just grab my basket and let's go. I love visiting Tarpon Springs. It is like going to Greece without leaving Florida and it was a perfect location for me to showcase the looks that I have for you today as well as this absolute gem of a community. So let's style some clothes and have a great day together. There are a couple things to look for when you choose a pair of wide leg pants. I personally like to get a high waisted wide leg pant because it helps to bring the waistline in and kind of give you that hourglass look. This is especially good if you are pear shaped figure type or an hourglass figure type. If you have a straight up and down figure, then you can kind of play around a lot with the silhouette. Another thing to, to pay attention to is the length of the pant. The pant should fall to the top of your shoe and sort of fall back um, and so that you have them about a quarter of an inch off the ground. I like to wear mine with a platform uh, sandal, but they can also be worn with trainers as well as flats depending on the length of the pant. I also like a very drapey fabric, especially in the summertime. So I would be looking for a linen or a linen blend or a heavyweight silk or a very, very, very lightweight wool. These kinds of fabrics breathe well and they work very well even here in Florida where it's very, very hot half of the year. I found that these particular trousers have been very, very comfortable even in 90 degree heat, even with very, very high humidity. So those are some things to keep in mind when you're choosing wide leg pants. Now back to Tarpon where I'm doing a little bit of shopping. One of the things that Tarpon is known for is its sponges and Greek pastries, Greek food. Here I am in one of the many bakeries and you can just see the delicious uh, foods. We're going to get a little coffee and sit outside and enjoy, and enjoy some baklava. So this is a little morning and yeah, this is it. This is good. So let's talk about styling. One of the easiest ways to wear wide leg pants and look chic and very well put together is a simple tank top or t-shirt. So today I decided that I was going to use a tank top because it's a great layering piece and you can easily build a number of looks with a simple tank top or simple tee. So one of my favorite things to do is to add a white button down or a striped button down. I found this fun button down at J. Crew, and I think it is one of those kind of things that really can add a lot of personality to the look. It's also very, very lightweight. And so even in the hot summer, I would wear a, a shirt like this. You can wear it kind of like as a jacket, or you can do the crisscross uh, tuck thing where you just simply crisscross the shirt, tuck it in front. You can leave the back out if you want, or you can tuck that in. Bring your sleeves up a little bit that draws attention to the waistline and that combined with a nice little belt and you've got a very smart look. We are now at the sponge docks and in this location, the sponge harvesters would bring the sponges and, and exchange them as well as we have many of the boats that are now historically designated um, they were the original boats that were used by the sponge divers. 
Another look that I really, really love is the cropped sweater or cropped jacket. And I have a couple of cropped jackets here and we've got the denim jacket, but the one that I thought was really kind of nice and that we're seeing a lot of is the cropped sweater. Now I have one here from St. John's Knits and this one has a lapel. It sort of looks like a blazer and that's one of the reasons why I really liked it. It has the, the softness of a sweater, which I love, and then the look of a blazer. But you can also get kind of that Chanel style sweater or jacket and create a look very similar to this. And so uh, again, you probably have some of these pieces already in your closet. That's one of the things I really wanna encourage you to consider whenever you get anything new is to see how much you can do from your closet without buying a lot of extra new pieces. So this was a look that I put together that I really liked. And um, it kind of has that elegant kind of look. I found that belting it, which was you know something that I might not have thought of doing, I thought, well, let's play, let's put the belt on. And now I have this very elegant kind of chic look. You can raise the sleeves up a little bit and kind of have some jewelry and, and so forth at your wrist. And now you've got a very classic and very comfortable chic look. It was really hard for us to choose where we were gonna eat today. However, we chose Rusty Bellies. The seafood is fresh. It was a gorgeous day and uh, we wanted to be able to overlook the water while we ate. So yeah. Just look at this, how, how could you ask for more? There are so many other great restaurants as well, and so I can't wait till we come and visit again so that we can eat at another restaurant. The final look that I wanna share with you today is another look that I know you probably already have in your closet. All you need is your new wide leg pants, and you just simply grab a navy blazer or any other blazer that you might have. And that is just that instant, very, very put together, great kind of look. Again, not a lot of muss and fuss. Under, I'm, I've added the belt back in. And again, you can use a wide belt or a narrow belt. Both of them are, are trending, depends on what you like. Um, and you've got a very beautiful kind of put together look. While we're playing, and this is one of my favorite tips to share, is that I like to get out all my jackets, all my pieces that I think might go with a trouser or with a new piece I'm adding to my wardrobe. So I have a whole bunch of jackets and blouses and all of that to try. And I just play with the look until I create a couple of outfits that I really, really like. And then sometimes I will just place those items together in my closet. So when I'm putting together a look for the day, then I kind of see that, oh, I remember I tried that sweater or that blouse with my white pants. I know that looks good. And so I can go ahead and easily put together an outfit. I hope that this video has given you some ideas for styling wide leg pants and maybe inspired you to buy a pair if you haven't already. I hope that you will check your closet and try a bunch of things to see what looks good and you know how to kind of create some great looks for yourself. See you next time.